we have to come together to have a real crack at solving local problems, national problems, global problems. So I think for me, collaboration is the start of that. At a very personal level though, I've found those collaborations and especially the long-term strategic programmatic collaborations to be part of creating an environment where creative people can flourish. And so that for me has been very important. I'm not, uh, never been a scientist or a person who thrives alone or does my best work alone. I've been a person who needs to be challenged by those around me, to have people that look at the world in very different ways, um, who can come together creatively. Um, I've certainly benefited from having people like Eve Marlap, who I've known for 30 years and would count as a mentor for their, for their patience in dealing with, you know, kind of sometimes brash, white, middle-class, Melbourneian scientists. And giving me a metaphorical and occasionally not so metaphorical slap <laughs> across the face. Not that we ever promote that sort of violence, but <laughs> metaphorical. metaphorical. Giving um, you a slap. metaphorical pair of glasses so you could see it. Yeah, I don't really. think Eve was doing glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and I think that those collaborations allow people with those different lenses, those different glasses, to impact a broader group. Um, and you know, I can think of nothing else more fulfilling than bringing people together from different organisations, working together to tackle a big, meaningful problem over months and years.